Hey guys, Toxy here. In today's video, I'm going to showcase Toxy UI patch 6.6.7. The changelog isn't big, but we'll go through each and every item. First off, for the breaking changes, we have removed the Toxy UI group tag. If you were using it, it's no longer available and it will just show you a simple string. Next, for the new features, we have decorative lines in armory. So if I open up my armory, you can see the top line and the bottom line. Uh, and of course, they are customizable. So if we go to armory, scroll down a bit, we have an alpha slider, which basically changes the opacity of the lines. And then of course, enable it stable. For now, it's using a class color. We might introduce an option in the future for a custom color. So if that is necessary, if you want that feature, do let us know. And the second new feature, we have random names and class icons in unit frame preview. And this requires at least LUI 13.67 or the latest development build. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, just wait for the next version. And if we go to group units party and display frames, you can see that I have randomized names and the same for goes for rate. And since I'm on horizontal layout, I don't actually see a class icon, but the class icon is randomized as well. For the bug fixes, we have fixed the incandescent essence enchant and armory. Unfortunately, we had to remove gradient text on enchant strings to make this work. But on the upside, we now have the option for class color or default green. So here we have the uh, armory screen. You can see the enchants essence is now appropriately abbreviated. It doesn't have any random symbols on it. And we can also change the color of the enchant. So either class color, which is new, or the default green text that we always had before. And the next item on the bug fix should actually belong in the development improvements, but Basically, we improved logic for class color behind the scenes. It's an internal code change, so you won't notice a difference actually. Next, we have one profile update and you might have saw it a bit earlier when I was showcasing the RAID frames, but basically for the horizontal layout, we changed the RAID unit frames growth the direction. So now they are not overlapping and they grow downwards and then right where previously it was right and then up so it overlapped with uh, weak chorus uh, i know there's slight overlap right now but this is because i'm using a heavily customized weak aura. and we have also changed raid 3 to be exactly the same as the other raid frames so essentially right now there's no difference between raid 1 2 and 3 the only difference is their visibility field but since they're the same, it doesn't matter which, which is showing. And lastly, we have increased the minimum required LVY version to 13.66. So we just want to encourage you to always keep your add-ons up to date because, well, it, it, it's bad using a broken add-on. And lastly, we've refactored the way we uh, apply the rate frames profile internally in the code. So essentially this just makes us, helps us make our raid frames aligned more easily. And that is it for Toxui patch 6.6.7. If you have any bug fixes, uh, or I mean, if you found any bugs or you have any suggestions for us, please uh, let us know on Discord or create a GitHub issue. Thanks for watching the video and uh, see you in the next updates. Bye-bye.